What up YouTube? Once again, I will be doing a GI unboxing and good look at video. A few videos ago I did the Tough Roll White Signature Gi. Today it's going to be the Tough Roll Black Widow Gi. And let me pull it out of the packaging and get a better look at it. Look at the other side of the bag real quick. I guess I'll start off by saying the gi cost $139 on the Tough Roll website, although it was featured on BJJ HQ a few days ago for $110, even with a $5 shipping. So look for it on BJJ HQ. Just like the white gi, the top is made out of a 550 gram pearl weave and has great contrast stitching throughout. I was pleasantly surprised at how straight the stitching actually is. Pretty stoked. And the contrast stitching definitely pops a lot harder on the black gi than it does on the white gi. I think it looks good. They did use a green and black seam tape throughout. And it actually is on the actual seam. The white gi did have this tough roll embroidered patch on this sleeve, but did not have it on this one, which the black one obviously does. They changed this from the brown, orangish color to the green, kind of match the seam tape. Flip it over. There's nothing on the back except the www.toughroll.com. And again, contrast stitching throughout. with the silver reinforcement on the slits of the top. I think that pretty much does it for the top. So let's move on to the pants. I did forget to mention that the inside of the sleeve does have the seam tape also. Very cool. In the video I did for the Waikie, I said that the pants were made out of 14 ounce canvas, and actually I was wrong. It's 12 ounce canvas. This Blackie does have the 14 ounce canvas, as well as the contrast stitching throughout. It has one, two, three drawstring loops, so six total. It does have the stretchy style drawstring. And something a little different, I don't know if you will be able to tell, but has like a black core with contrast gray stitching which gives it a different really cool look in my opinion I like it also has a silver 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 slit reinforcements as well as the patch that the white gee has on the side of the pants again contrast stitching in the knee area and something the white pants don't have that I really like on the black pants as it does have the weave material crotch area I really like that and also something the white pants didn't have is the seam tape again I like that too and it does feel like this is made out of a different material than the seam tape on the white I might be wrong but it does feel like that and as far as the pants I think that's about it. On the inside of the top, it does have the triangle reinforcement on the slit, as well as the oval reinforcement in the armpit. So as I mentioned before, the pants on the white gi does not come with the weave material crotch area. And also, the black pants on the knee reinforcement is also layered with the weave material, which the white pants just had another layer of canvas. I like the weave material. The back of the pants don't have anything on them. I am going to be adding some pictures 
of the black gi, but it's going to be pictures of the competition model, and it has patches all over the place, but the regular Black Widow gi has this embroidered tarfoil patch on the side of the leg, but that's it. I don't know if I showed it already, but the front also doesn't have any patches. The competition model will have one right there. Right there. Right there. And on the back. Also right there. The competition model gi top has a patch here. And also right there. But again, the regular model does not. I do have to say, not that there was anything wrong with the quality of the white gi, it's excellent, but the quality on this black gi is superb. It really is. It's built like a tank. It looks good. It feels good. You can just feel the quality. I know the people that made the white gi are not the people that made this black gi. I know he changed makers, and it was definitely for the better. I don't know if the white gi will be continued to be made. Where it was originally made I know it came out first and this was a second model but again the quality is fantastic it's it's I just can't imagine it being any better in closing I highly recommend picking up a tough roll gi the white or the black you will not be disappointed if you're local to the Bay Area you will see them at a tournament near you so once again thanks for watching stay rolling Stay tuned.